So I literally just got back from the cinema. Holy moly. There's this group of people like at the front of the cinema and they were just the most annoying people ever. Like constantly they're pulling out their phones and torches, like walking in and out. Like I think at one point they were sitting at the back and they all moved to the front. There was like 20 of them. And in the cinema, there's like these day beds. And so like 20 of them shovel into like two beds and they all got their torches out there like whispering and they kept moving throughout the whole movie. It was so annoying. Anyway, let's actually talk about the movie. This is my review of No. Yeah, so like I said, I literally just got back like 20 minutes ago, got home, set up the camera, and here we go. So, Nope is a movie directed by Jordan Peele. This is gonna be a spoiler-free review. I also want to mention briefly that I'm gonna try not to compare this movie to the other two he's made, uh, being Get Out and Us, but just quickly, I am gonna say right off the bat, with the three of them, this is probably the worst one. And the reason I say that is not because this is a bad movie by any means, but those two movies I just kind of preferred. So yeah, spoiler free. So I'm not gonna mention what the synopsis is at all. Just go watch the movie. But if you just want thoughts on it in general, you can watch this video. So the movie's starring Daniel Kaluuya, and he's playing the character OJ, Kiki Palmer, who's playing his sister, and then there's also Steven Yeun. I mean, all three actors, incredible. But in this movie especially, they're all really good. Daniel Kaluuya, he's one of the greatest actors of all time. I'd bloody watch that dude eat a bowl of cereal for two hours. But one thing I'll say is his character in the movie is a little bit boring. I don't mean that performance-wise. I think he performs the character exactly as he should. I think the character itself is written in a way that's just like, he's very understated and he's very quiet. And it seems like that is going to kind of flip but it never does and then he just ends up being not enough energy but again it's a character choice it's not not an acting thing at any means i think he's amazing steven yuan again awesome so he does great in the film and so does kiki palmer i think she's really good the only thing i've really seen of her before this was scream queens i thought she was great in that too so in terms of all the supporting cast they all do a great job as well so what i liked about the movie i think the plot is cool i think it's got an interesting take and it's it's not as heavy as what i was expecting like it's quite uh just a fun movie it doesn't really do a lot it doesn't stay around too long it's pretty quick i'd say don't go in expecting something that's like crazy like this next generation horror movie that's gonna blow your mind it has all this meaning it's just kind of a fun movie with a great cast and an interesting story i really like the setting like it's set on a farm which is pretty cool very open area very and, and like the cinematography is amazing one thing that really shines is the sound design i think the sound design in this movie is awesome one problem i feel like the movie has is it introduces like a lot of plot points that i feel like don't really go anywhere like there's a lot of things that happen throughout that seem like they're gonna be resolved by the end of it and that doesn't really happen. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, like I think a lot of it's more just for theming and for setting things up. There's one thing in particular that again, I'm not gonna say what it is, but what like it seemed like it was going somewhere and then it just kind of fell off. But then I left the cinema, I kind of thought about it and I realized why it was there, but it just kind of felt a little unsatisfying. Overall, I think it's quite a good movie. Uh, like I said, compared to us and get out i'd say it is probably the weakest of the three but that doesn't really mean anything it's still a really good watch i definitely recommend going to see it i'd probably give it maybe about a seven or an eight out of ten very very good so if you see the ads for this movie and you think nope i'd say yeah thanks for watching take care